Shaq's a man with a network of $400 million. This means he's got the means to buy two Ferraris, cut them in half to make a supercar for the hell of it. But this diesel Ferrari is just one of the countless absurdly expensive things owned by Shaquille O'Neal. Before we get a close look at the Super Rari, take a look at this custom fish tank Shaq built that costs more than your grandma's Florida condo. Shaq became a fan of the show Tanked on Animal Planet and decided to reach out to the boys to build him something wild. Knowing the big man has some steep pockets, the tanked team went in on this custom fish tank that cost Shaq $120,000. Shaq took home an Egyptian-themed 800-gallon fish tank, home to three exotic grouper, a rare Japanese eel, and three custom sphinx hookah statues. Shaq's a kid at heart with a ridiculous bank account. Once again, the big man was a sucker for another TV show. After binge watching Three Masters, Shaq hit up the crew to build him the treehouse of his dreams. And they didn't disappoint. This sanctuary in the woods has a handcrafted sphere metal bonfire pit on the deck. A custom nine foot mahogany door with his signature S on it. A labyrinthine 10 foot ceiling, but the outside doesn't do this thing justice. The inside goes crazy. Shaq's got a state of the art poker table and dartboard for boys' nights, along with a full bar and a wine collection on the shelves above. For final touches, Shaq added a portrait of himself looking like a boss behind the bar. All of that cost him $400,000. Tell me in the comments if you think the treehouse was worth the price tag, even for a roller like Diesel. But might have been worth the check is Shaq's fully custom Ferrari. Years ago, Shaq was shopping Ferraris when the car salesman served Shaq a humble pie and told the big guy that he couldn't fit in the Ferraris in the showroom. The car salesman was joking around with Shaq and told him that he could just buy two Ferraris, cut them in half, and combine them so he could fit inside instead. Shaq laughed along and then told him that's exactly what he's going to do. Shaq wasn't bluffing and bought two Ferrari F355 for about $400,000 to later slice them up to make a stretched out super car. When the customization was done, Shaq added his personal touches to the car with Superman insignias to the seats. By now, you can tell Shaq finds creative ways to spend his millions. And as far as customizations go, this is just the tip of the iceberg because I got more whips to show you. But first, check out Shaq's one-of-a-kind yacht that had the entire internet roasting him. Shaq's 72 Pershing yacht is OD. This bad boy has three bedrooms, a hidden cruise quarter, and kitchen for Chef Diesel to cook up the fresh catch of the day. But you may have seen this yacht after Shaq's post about it went stupid viral in 2018. The next thing Shaq spends serious cash on is a tradition of his that critics give him a ton of crap for, but proves he's a man of the people. Every single year, a new iPhone is released. Shaq buys 50 brand new next generation iPhones and gives them away to random people. Assuming he's been giving away iPhones since they first came out, Shaq spent almost $750,000 on iPhone giveaways. My guy couldn't stop buying multi-million dollar mega mansions if he tried. Shaq's got the pockets for it, but the total amount of money he spent on luxury real estate will blow your mind. Back when Shaq was playing for the Orlando Magic in 1992, he got a taste of the real estate game after buying his first lakefront mansion. The $16.5 million, 36,000 square foot Orlando mansion is more like a castle. This thing has 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a 17 car garage with an NBA regulation size basketball court. This was the first domino to fall of many. Shaq followed up this purchase with buying six more mega mansions spread out across the country. He's got a couple of mansions in LA, one in Vegas, 
one in Phoenix, and an $18.8 million mega mansion in Miami. But what caught my attention was his Texas mansion, which actually isn't a mansion. Shaq spends a lot of his time in the Dallas suburbs where he bought a $1.2 million house with five bedrooms. What would be a baller house for most of us, but downsizing for Shaq. Either way, his mansion collection is worth an absurd $48 million. Did you know that one of the most expensive things Shaq owns is dead people? You heard me right. As creepy as this may be, one of Shaq's biggest investments is dead folks. Shaq partnered with $10 billion brand management group called Authentic Brands Group to strike a killer deal. Shaq sold the rights to his own name for $270 million. He now owns Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, and many other dead celebrities. I'll explain. When Shaq sold the rights to his name, he bought ownership stake of companies that owned the rights to the names of dead A-list celebrities, including Elvis. In other words, Shaq bought some dead people for $135,000. Eerie stuff, my guy. Shaq's card collection is a different breed from what you've seen by other athletes. This card collection has been in the making since 1992, after Shaq bought three Mercedes Benzes with his first NBA paycheck. From there, Shaq went crazy, building one of the most expensive card collections an athlete has ever owned. He's a fan of the classics, buying a 19. 64 Chevy Impala from Snoop Dogg and the famous car from the movie Scarface, a 1963 Cadillac Eldorado. However, when it comes to Shaq's car collections, his prized possessions are his fully custom whips. Shaq created a super luxury sports car out of a normal Infiniti G35. He took a custom Vader body kit to create this. This guy just does whatever he wants, adding custom butterfly doors to a Hellcat. Who does that? In 2002, Shaq decided to invest in residential communities, buying 21 housing communities in Colorado for low-income families. The purchase alone was worth $100 million. You know he didn't stop there. In 2019, Shaq invested in developing a 22-story skyscraper in NYC with 168 luxury apartments called Shaq Tower, worth $80 million. This diesel portfolio is worth about $330 million. But one thing that's absolutely priceless is watching how LeBron James completely destroyed a $30 million mansion because he felt like it. If you want to keep learning how your favorite athletes spend their millions, then make sure you subscribe to our channel, Athlete Luxuries. No down payment is required.